Hey guys, good morning. I'm starting off a new vlog. I'm picking up Mariana right now. We're about to go for a hike. We're gonna stop and grab some matcha and some, I'm gonna get a smoothie at Blue Stone Lane. Um, and I know that she's been really hit hard by, as have all of us, but it's different when this really affects you personally, like when you have relatives there. I have friends with relatives there, but um, the situation with Ukraine and Russia, and so I just wanted to kind of get her out of the house. And um, I think we both thought that like, it's gonna be really nice weather out, and we just thought like, let's go on a hike, take our minds off of it, and um, I find, unfortunately, that distraction is like the only way that you cannot really be so consumed by something so traumatic and out of your control. So yeah, um, just picked her up. Like I said in my last video, I try to keep a positive spin on my vlogs always. And like, even if I'm talking about something that isn't the most positive, I still try to um, put a positive spin on it so that way it's not like so that way you guys leave my channel feeling happy emotions um but this situation is kind of just like it's really tough and I mean like I'm talking to my mom about it every single morning and all throughout the day and it's just like still in the back of your mind like I again I'm so lucky and so grateful that I don't have family there but it doesn't mean that it's not still really tough and something that we're constantly thinking about so i just got home i got a bunch of juices from pressed that i'm going to be drinking these next couple days hi guys so i have not picked up the camera in literally hours but i want to show you what i'm having for dinner this is my like signature summer salad i know it's not summer it's literally like february 28th but um it was 82 degrees outside today it was so hot so i wanted to make something nice and refreshing and i'm going to put this in my homemade dressing um my boyfriend's dad taught me how to make this you put like oil up to here then there's a line right here for vinegar and then he gives me like these packets that you put in it it's literally just oil vinegar and like seasoning but it's amazing um i'm gonna have this and i'm gonna watch some tv I've just been editing my other video that I just uploaded and responding to emails and doing computer work all night. I look a hot mess, but Frankie actually flew out to Utah with his work, not with his work, for his work um, today at like 3.30 and it's 5.55. I've been seeing angel numbers all day today. 11.11, 11, 11 um actually i don't even know if 111 is one is it let me know 222 333 and now 444 and then 555 kind of weird um i've kind of been going through it a little bit i mentioned it a little bit this morning but today was the first time that i posted on instagram and tiktok in a few days and um kind of felt weird about it at first but um it actually really helped me and it took my mind off things a lot um, and then I was editing my video, so I've really been like kind of in work mode, which again like has really really helped me um, But now that Frankie is gone, I'm kind of like lonely by myself um, But I am going to eat this delicious Huge salad. This bowl is in literally enormous um, And watch some vlogs and stuff and have a chill night and that's it. He's in there Well, when we have little baby bears I would get a bigger one than this. It would be like the three. Okay, bye sugar. Bye sugar. I just got off the phone with Frankie and before that I had I was just telling him I had to call him and let him know. Um my mother agent calls me this morning and she's like, Nikki, I need a favor from you. And I'm like, oh God, what's up? <laughs> I was like, what? This sounds like urgent. And she's like, no, no, like, um, I am shooting in Miami with a model that I just signed and she has the biggest model crush on you and she just loves you and would die if I FaceTimed you right now and I was like me me but it was like I was like what the heck like so flattering but like I, I look like a big toe right now but I'm like she's gonna be like that ain't even Nikki like who the heck is that um I look like a small rodent but it's fine um I facetimed and this girl was so so kind and so sweet and made me feel like everything that i do um on here for you guys like being open and honest with you guys about my struggles and everything is like all worth it it's like things like that that oh my god i just pulled the julia fox like things like that moments like that make you feel like wow you 
are honestly doing something for somebody out there. And that's why I make the videos about, she mentioned binging and the fact that I have made videos about how I recovered and um, my struggles with binging. And she's like, not a lot of people talk about binging. They talk about the other eating disorders and not a lot of people talk about it. And I was like, that's kind of how I felt too. Like I've had, I know a few people who have come out about um, binge eating and I've found so much comfort in watching their videos. Um, but aside from that, you don't hear it as much. Maybe now more so a little bit, but at first it was kind of something for me that was super embarrassing. And like, I felt like I had to hide it and that's why I hid it for so long and that's why it kept coming back up. And it's like, once I came to terms with it and once I like actually was like, okay, I'm gonna get a grasp on this and fix it and change and heal and recover, <clears throat> that's when I actually saw progress. It was so just heartwarming and amazing to hear somebody, um, this absolutely stunning girl say that, you know, like my content has helped her. Um, and that's the reason why I do it, you guys. So uh, that was really freaking awesome. And just the best way to start my day. Um, we slept kind of weird. I was supposed to wake up at six because I went to bed at like bef at like 9.30. Like I was in bed at nine or 8.30. Um, so I assumed I was gonna fall asleep by 9.30 and I was like asleep by like 10ish. So I was like, oh, like I'll set my alarm for like six because I feel like that would be a good time to wake up. But my little man over there, um, one time he woke up because he had to pee. The second time he woke up because he thought someone was in the house. He was like barking and he's done this before. Whenever Frankie goes out of town, he never does this when Frank is home. Whenever Frankie goes out of town, I swear to God, every night, middle of the night, three, four o'clock, it's like clockwork. He wakes up and he starts barking. He'll like hear one little thing. I think I moved in the bed and he shot up and was like, rap, rap. So then he did it twice. So then I start getting freaked out. I'm like, oh shit, like maybe there is someone in the house. So I like get up and I start walking around being like, is there someone in the house? Like I like check like the balcony and stuff. I'm like, okay, I've lost it. Like we have security, like there's no, there's no one in the house, you know? Um, but it freaked me out for a second. And I realized what it is. He knows that dad's not home and it's just me and him. So he's on like red alert. Like he will be some ass for me. And I was like, oh my God, he's so sweet. And typically he sleeps with Frankie or he sleeps like in his own little corner on top of the bed. And same thing with the couch, like he always sleeps in his little corner of the couch over there. Like that's where he is right now. He's inside that little lump of blanket. But all last night when we were chilling on the couch and I was editing, he was like attached to my hip. And then when we went to sleep and I think he realized that like Frank wasn't coming home, he slept like attached to my leg or like my knee or any part of my body that he could like grasp towards. He put his little like chin in the crook of my knee. It was just, so sweet and like you could tell that he just wanted to like be close to me and protect me my little boy my little boy um but yeah i thought that was just really cute and although i was like annoyed that he kept waking up in the middle of the night i also like now it's the second time he's done it because frank has gone to utah twice and now i know like what's happening and i'm like he's just protecting me my little boy i made this big ass cup of coffee this cup is so funny have you seen my wiener um, I, it's only like half full, but I do really love this mug. My friend got it for me. It helps me only drink one cup, cup of coffee in the morning. I mean, cause it's so big, but like it, normally I feel like I would drink more because I would keep going up and like filling up my tiny ass mugs versus this. I'm like so satisfied by the end. I like fill it up halfway and then put all my like stuff in it. And then I feel like I only have to drink this one cup of coffee. Although I do have to keep reheating it because I don't drink it in time, but um, I think it's helping me drink less coffee and soon I'll be able to drink just one normal size mug of coffee But I've been really good about drinking just one coffee a day and if I do do a second coffee do do I'm five uh, If I do a second cup of coffee or like a second little like need a little energy boost throughout the day I'll get like a matcha or a chai or something like I won't get something that's um, Super caffeinated or I will do like a decaf if I really want like a latte um, and I want the taste of coffee, I'll just do like either a half calf or a completely decaf um, in the second half of the day. Like if I'm editing or if I have like an evening workout or something, like I'll do something like that because 
um before i would chug like energy drinks and drink like a thousand cups of coffee a day and like this before i mean like two three weeks ago um and it's just effing up my hormones like my cortisol is all over the place and i did so well with bringing it back to a normal level that i'm like i can't f this up because of caffeine like it's causing me stress so um we're doing really well i'm really proud of myself i'm really happy right now uh yeah so we're gonna have a great day i'm hanging out with my friend faith today you guys love faith on the vlog so um i feel like i just literally talked for a thousand years how my hand is like hurting from holding my camera also please don't judge me like do you guys wear the same sweatsuit for like a week because it's like your at home sweatsuit like i shower every time before i walk i wear the sweatsuit and i only wear it for like two three hours at a time like i'll put this on in the morning then if i'm like leaving the house I'll put on like a workout set or like an outfit or something to go leave the house. Then when I come back home, I'll like put back on my comfy clothes, but I have different versions of my comfy clothes. You guys, I put in dry shampoo when I got home from my workout, like before I cooked my breakfast or my brunch. Um, and it's still in my hair. Oh my god, I was about to leave the house like this. I just cooked his food um, For those of you who care I make him beef and oatmeal. Um, so now I'm gonna take him for a walk I am going to come back put on my bikini and Head to Faith's because we are doing like a little beach day I am bringing her half of my breakfast burrito because I don't want the other half um and she does so anyways my hair looks funky but whatever at least it's not gray so yeah that's what we're doing i'm just gonna throw on my swimsuit um and head out the door i think for choosing starbucks why can we get started for you today hi um can i please have a venti iced coffee with two pumps of brown sugar and oat milk So Faithy and I just spent about like an hour-ish laying out. Now we're about to go to the grocery store to grab some fruit. Um, I really want a coconut water too. And then I think we're gonna walk to the beach um, and just like hang out, have a nice little walk, eat some fruit, and then I'm gonna get home to my little boy. walk to the beach we're almost there cute airplane background noise well it's also near the airport faith lives literally like two seconds from the airport but also super close to the beach so you know what win-win go to the beach and then get it, hop on a plane sure. all in one day for sure i mean i could do that too but it would take me longer so yeah we're gonna eat our little fruit this has been like the best it feels like summer it does and it's only march 1st it's only march 1st and it's one of the few actual hot days this week and then it's gonna go back down to like 60s Never. actually like 59 one of the days cold <laughs> for la it Just got home, showered, walked the dog, walked the dog first, then showered. And I made myself this really bomb looking Mediterranean bowl. I'm gonna show you guys what I put in it. Chicken kebab, hummus, tomatoes, red bell peppers, onions, goat cheese, and um, cucumbers all on a bed of lettuce. And then I am also going to add some of my homemade balsamic on this too. Mm -hmm. 